Shouts out to Dumbest Live News. That's that nigga, man. Hey. What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. What's up, gang? And it's Long Live Prince X. And for the people that don't know what's going on, man, uh, DJ Williams is out here crying. Oh, I can't sleep at night. Oh, the situation left me all shaken up. Oh, man, shut the fuck up, DJ Williams. And I got no remorse for this dude. Now, Dedrick Williams is really out here snitching, and I love it, man. I've never liked a snitch before, but this is the type of snitching that I like. Now, I don't need to give you guys the full story of what happened that day because I've told you too many times already, so you guys know what it is. Now, more information has been released, and let's dive into it. Now, when police first arrested Dedrick Dickface Williams, and by the way, this is before they had any of the other guys. Remember, he was the first one that was arrested. So when they first got a hold of him, now they interviewed him. He denied any involvement in the situation and claimed that he wasn't even at the scene. Now his story changed up when they caught his dumb ass on the goddamn security footage. Now, when they told him, like, bruh, we see your dumb ass on this video right here. He changed up his story, admitted he was there, but he said he was there with a friend and his daughter. Now, of course, the Broward County Police Department, they knew that was a lie. They continued to press him, and that's when Diedrich started to spill the beans everywhere. Now, once he realized he was caught, he then said that he was at home watching his kids when a few friends came over. And that's when he took his kids to his neighbor's house and he drove to the dealership with the suspects. Now, he's saying he had no idea that this stuff was going to happen and this and that. And we all know that's a goddamn lie, because before they did this, they went and they bought masks and a bunch of other stuff. Now, Diedrich then revealed that he's having a hard time sleeping at night. The whole situation left him shaking up. And I'm guessing X is just hunting this dude. X is playing floor 555 nonstop in this dude's head. And he can't sleep at night. He's freaking trembling. And he don't know what's going on. Now, Diedrich then continued on with his interview. And from there, that's when he identified all these other people. And guess what? Once he identified that he knew them, that's when the police had them because they were able to link all those guys to the scene. There was fingerprints in the rented car. The rented car was linked to Allen. They found casings and bullets with the other guys and everything was all linked together from social media, pictures to videos. And that's how these guys went down. Diedrich Williams identified all of them. Listen, I'm sorry, man. I have no remorse for Diedrich Williams or any of these dudes. I hope X is hunting the hell out of them. And I hope it happens to the day their life's in. That's how I feel about this whole situation. And I think DJ Williams is going to be snitching on these dudes. Now, the crazy thing is this. There was a report that came out and DJ was like, yo, I don't want to be known as a snitch and, and this and that. Brother, you snitching and it's okay. But I got no remorse, but you did the crime and you got to do the time. Now, I wonder if these dudes are going to be eligible for the death penalty. Like, that's not warning. I'm pretty sure what Florida still does that. I know we, 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 we do that here in Texas, but I think Florida still does that. And hopefully they get some of that. Anyway, you guys have a great day. And I got two words. Finish them.